right. Okay, so we're going to talk about acceleration analysis. So acceleration analysis or relative acceleration analysis. And, and with this here, basically you are, you know, with the objective of acceleration analysis or relative acceleration analysis on a rigid body is to find the acceleration at one point given another point. Okay, so the, the most common example that we've looked at is, you know, some sort of link if, or some sort of link here. And it doesn't have to be at the ends of the link, but you know the acceleration at, at some point A and another acceleration at some point B. And what you say is, well, you don't know one of them. So let's say you know, we know B, but we, we want to find A. Okay, so... So given point B acceleration, find acceleration at A, okay? All right? And, and what we do here is we set up the, um, we set up, we set up according to our relative motion our relative motion diagram or our relative motion diagram. So we apply all of the translation to the point. Can you all see that? Okay, so you apply all the translation. So here we know B, so we apply all of B. Okay, we know B, so we apply all of B. We apply the translation, translation, and then we add the rotation. So we, we broke up plane motion into translation and rotation. So we applied the translation at B. Uh, if this is point B and here's A. So essentially we, we create an axis of rotation here at point B. And then we, we make some assumptions about the angular acceleration and angular velocity. Or we say in terms of the orientation of the angular acceleration, angular velocity, we say, all right, uh, I think it's moving uh, counterclockwise, so omega a b, and the acceleration is alpha a b. A lot of the times we solve omega a b from a relative velocity analysis or from the instantaneous center of rotation. So usually this comes from from an ICR or a relative velocity analysis. Right, of my system, all right. So you usually you get that omega a b from there, right? And then you have here so how many components of acceleration are there at a? Uh, this is if I again I translated b, so now I I make an axis of rotation at b, and here I have if I if I'm going this way I have a this is pure rotation now this is pure rotation here so everything is moving in a circular path, okay that pure rotation. So I have what components? I have the N and T components, okay? So my T component would be here, AT, and it corresponds with the direction of my angular acceleration and angular velocity, okay? If I, if I drew alpha counterclockwise, I want to make sure that the acceleration in the tangential direction also corresponds with that. And then, um, and then here in my normal direction here, A, n right here oh and this would be a n shoot a a b n a a b t okay and usually we can get away with scalar definitions and things but we you know i draw the vectors just to make sure that you remember to break it up into components later but the um but here let me let me clarify this a little bit here so oops so here, this is a r, and so usually we might know this angle theta. We might know that angle theta. I don't know if you can see that. This angle theta here, and then we could by just by geometry, we would know this is theta. This is uh, what would this be? This would be 90 minus theta. 90 minus theta, right there. Okay. All right. Okay. And then and then we break this up into the. Uh, into the, the, the vector formulation. So we, we use a drawing to make that vector formulation. That's exactly how you should solve the problem of any problem that like this right here. But you would, doesn't matter what it is, but you would set up the vector formulation. So this would be 
what would this, this would be AA, my unknown, is equal to the translation plus the pure rotation, which would be AABT plus AABN, the normal component, right? Beautiful, right? That's, it's, it's a very, it, it just makes it match the drawing, which is really nice. Ah, it's so elegant when it matches the drawing, right? It just, okay. All right, 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 okay. So you don't care, right? Just kidding, you care, you care, you care, okay? But here, this is theta A, right? And and this, tip, if we know this angle theta A, right? You know, oh, I'm sorry, we don't know that theta angle theta A, right? But we might know this angle um, theta B. So we might know theta B, but theta A still remains an unknown, as does A sub A, right? So we have a magnitude and a direction that we're solving for, okay? We can only solve two unknowns every time we do a relative velocity analysis, right? So if if you have an, another unknown somewhere, you got to think, where can I get that from? That's usually from the relative velocity analysis, okay? All right. So here, if if these two, if the a sub, the magnitude of the acceleration and the angle of that vector are the unknowns, then we would have, and then we would break up into the i hat component. We would assume the positive i hat directions here. So a a cosine theta a is equal to whatever a b cosine theta b is, and then we would say, okay, what's the magnitude of a a b t? It's just Alpha a b r a b times cosine of ninety minus theta according to this drawing. Okay. Uh, oh, and this would be all negative. Does everyone agree this would be negative because of just the way that I, I have this drawn right here? So this would be I would put, include a negative sign here. Okay. Plus a oh what's a a b n? What's the normal component? Omega, the magnitude is omega squared r, that's good. Magnitude is omega squared r, very good, right? So omega a b squared r a b, and then that would be cosine of theta. Yes, okay? And then we would have the j component in the vertical, and we would have a a sine theta a is equal to a b sine theta b plus uh, oops, it'd be a minus alpha a b r a b sine of 90 minus theta plus omega a b squared r a b sine of theta. And it would be negative also. Very good. Thank you. Let's see, would that work? That does not work. My erasure does not work. Okay. All right. All right. So negative right here, and I gotta make sure I keep all the brackets consistent. Yes. Yes. Okay. So this this direction, which this this there's a way that we set this up could solve any problem, right? And and really like in the in, in some problems like the one we had before, you, sometimes you have you don't you know you've got to find omega a b, and you have no sense of the direction of the a sub a. That's the problem. You don't have any sense of that direction. So you just, you know, you just go and you just make an assumption and go with it. Okay. Do we, you, want, you want to do something with numbers? Numbers? Or how, does everyone feel good with this? <laughs> feel okay? Okay. So how about, let me, let me pause this. Let me stop this right here. This will be like part one acceleration analysis. Are we going to have a part two? Does someone, or we want to move to a new topic? Numbers. Okay, let's do one with numbers. All right. So let me see. Let me let's let's. Okay. Let let me th let's think about that. Let's let's leave this as a stopping point, and then let's see if we can move to a new topic first before we go to numbers. But first.